All right, guys, today we're here in Wares Valley, Tennessee, just outside of Gatlinburg, outside of Pigeon Forge, amongst the mountains. We're here to try out a new-ish restaurant that we haven't been to. We haven't heard a whole lot about, so we're anxious to see. It's a burger joint, it's a pizza joint, it's a wing joint. Brace yourself. It's the Sloppy Hog. Sloppy Hog. Slop, sloppy Hog. Hog. Sloppy Hog Burger Joint is located at 3269 Wares Valley Road in Wares Valley, Tennessee, about 15 minutes off the Pigeon Forge Strip, and they're open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. six days a week, Tuesday being their day to rest. Sitting right at the base of Cove Mountain, the Sloppy Hog seems like a mirage set against one of the most perfect backdrops on Earth. Taking a look at their menu, the Sloppy Hog features many varieties of burgers, wings, pizzas, and barbecue. Starting with their appetizers, Sloppy Hog offers pulled pork or Sloppy Joe smothered chips, cheese curds, and corn dog nuggets to kickstart your meal. And moving along to the burgers, they specialize in smashed patties and offer them with several variations of toppings, including the Red Hot Sloppy with signature wing sauce, pepper jack, jalapenos, and ranch dressing, or the Slop Your Dripper with pulled pork, cheddar cheese, and barbecue sauce. They also offer homemade Sloppy Joe, grilled chicken, and bologna sandwiches. Sloppy Hog also offers smoked chicken wings tossed in their own secret sauce, as well as chicken tender baskets with fries. Next up is Sloppy Hog's pizza menu, with several specialty pizzas including the veggie, which looks like it's been run through a garden, a Hawaiian, the whole hog, which, like Arby's, has the meats, a cheeseburger, chicken bacon ranch, hot wings, and the barbecue chicken pizza, which we ordered. And finally, the Sloppy Hog does have a kid's menu with burgers, fries, pizza, and chicky tins. Alright, baby doll. We're here at the Sloppy Hog. You decided to get a pizza. You got your buffalo chicken pizza. Or your barbecue, barbecue chicken. chicken. Sorry. There's no buffalo sauce. Because I know that you get tired of only having to eat sausage and pepperoni like what I like. So, oh, that's a good pull. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. It's got barbecue sauce as in the main sauce, you know, nothing else. The chicken is perfect. The onions are perfect. They're not red onions, which I'm surprised, mm -hmm. happily surprised. Yep. And then the cheese is very cheesy. I don't know how else to describe it. It's delicious. We put some extra Parmesan cheese on it because we love Parmesan cheese. And they bring it out to you in this little cup with lots of packets and red pepper flakes. So obviously I'm going to use them. Obviously. Now the only thing that might make it better. Ranch, babe. Is ranch because I love the combination of ranch and barbecue with chicken. Is that up, oh, up? Oh, she went full Brent. Still your move. You never go full Brent. Brent might not like this just because he is a traditionalist, but it is really, really good. It reminds me of um, the California Pizza Kitchen that I like to get. It's really tasty though. I was thinking it would be smaller than, I mean, 10 inches is 10 inches, yeah, but this is not, pizza. we could split this easily. 
sometimes the crust also is very though, crusty and thin. I think that your idea of sizes of food is very skewed because you eat so little. You're like, we could easily split this McDonald's cheeseburger, and it's like, yeah, no, most people eat three of those. This is a normal size small pizza for one person. You can split it, obviously. I would eat two pieces and be happy, maybe right. three. But most people eat more than that, and... The crust is thin and crispy, which is my favorite style of crust. Um, really, that and deep dish are my two favorites. Everything in between is just plain to me, but, so it's really good. So as we explained before, I love pizza. It's my favorite food in the entire world. I am a traditionalist. I'm not the kind of traditionalist that says that this is not pizza. I understand it's pizza. It's a <laughs> crust with sauce and toppings on it. It's pizza. It's just not my favorite kind of pizza. So if I ever say, hey, I really want to get pizza, I'm telling you, I want some pepperoni. Whatever else you want to put on there, fine, but it's got to have pepperoni. This is a barbecue chicken pizza. Uh, it's Grace's <laughs> favorite style of stuff. It's super thin. It's not like crackery thin, like what you would get in some places, but uh, it's a thin crust. She doesn't like the breadiness of uh, like a Papa John's crust or whatever. That's my favorite. We disagree on things. We're gonna have to start just ordering separate pizzas from now on. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, the pizza discussion is the only thing that might break us up in the future, ah. but we'll see what happens. I would say the chicken on this pizza, I feel like it's probably frozen chicken that they chopped up. It tastes good. It's just not, I'm guessing they're not back there, you know, grilling their own chicken to put on it. The cheese blend on this is the best part of it to me. The barbecue sauce is sweet, a little bit smoky and tangy. The cheese just has a lot of good flavor. The crust is crispy on the edges. It's a little, it's not like it's flabby or floppy, but it's not like you're not going to break your teeth off on it. Um, we saw some kids meals come by that these kids got little personal pizzas that looked almost like they were put on a tortilla. They were so thin. Grace would probably like that more, but whatever. Oh, got the whole toppings. Get going. Hey, like this video. You know you do. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you don't already. Give us a little comment. We love the feedback. Brent reads them all. He responds to them all, but give it a like. All right, this next item is the Sloppy Hog Original, I think is the name of it. Yep. It's just their basic burger. They describe their patties as smash patties on the menu, but those are a little thicker than smash patties. I feel like we're going patties. back to where we were a, a year ago when you were calling everything smash patties and they didn't qualify, and now the world is calling everything smash patties when they don't qualify. Because those just look like, like a hamburger that you would get on the grill mm -hmm. at home. And I mean, I'm sure it's good, but I guess the fact if like if they say we took a ball of hamburger and we smashed mm -hmm. it into a patty, does that count as a smash patty? No. To us, it's got to have the Maillard on the outside, mm -hmm. the crispy. It's got you have to really scrape thin. it off of a, a griddle essentially for it to be. Yeah. A it's flat good, patty. but it does just taste like a burger from somebody's grill. Yeah. Which is great mm. when you're at home on Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. If you're at a restaurant, I don't know if it, you know, you expect maybe a little bit more, mm -hmm. but yeah. But how's it taste? It's okay. Yeah. It's not the best burger I've had at a restaurant. It really just just tastes like oh Memorial Day burger. Yeah. So the pizza is definitely going to be where you're what you're probably calling. yeah. Which is not bad. I mean, yeah. it's not a bad burger. It's just if you're in the mood for that or right. not. We did get onion rings as our side. They say that they're home homemade onion rings. They're very thin. And that you can get fries, onion rings, or their homemade chips all for the same cost. Which is intriguing always to us because usually there's an upcharge mm. for onion rings. So if we can get them for free, we're always going to get them for free. Those onion rings redeem the dish. They are so good. Crispy. You know, I like my onion rings in this style, a little bit thinner and crispy. And the big ones, that's delightful. And then it comes with a cup of coleslaw. We thought it was just a side option. Apparently it comes with either fries or onion rings. You get the coleslaw no matter what. It looks a lot like a KFC style coleslaw. Yeah. Chopped finely. Yeah, I like Mayonnaise it. Based. I mean, it's just coleslaw, but yeah. it very much feels like, yeah, just backyard 
barbecue between the burger and the coleslaw. It's not the worst thing. So if you're on vacation and you want a little taste of home cooking, here it is. Come and get it. You don't even have to go to the cookout to get the cookout. So Grace tried the burger, said that they were a little backyardy, um, which is not a bad thing at all. I'm gonna give it a try. I took the onions off because I don't like raw onions much at all. Unless you get like a real juicy Vidalia in Georgia and they're super candy sweet. We got lettuce, we got tomato. It did not come with any condiments on top of it. We put lettuce and our... Uh, the Holy Trinity. Yeah, we put That's ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard. mayonnaise and mustard. I'm not a fan of mayonnaise on a cheeseburger, but she likes it, so we do it. He makes so many sacrifices for me. I'll sacrifice somebody for you. Oh my. The only thing about the burger that I'm not necessarily a fan of is it, it could use some seasoning on it, right? It, it, if you put like a little more salt, pepper, a seasoning blend or something would, would wake it up a lot. Taste-wise, it's good. Texture-wise, it's good. Um, honestly, Grayson can hate me for this. To me, it tastes exactly the same as what a Five Guys burger tastes like, which she thinks is the greatest burger in the history of the world. To me, it's just okay. That's what this tastes like to me. Uh, you, Sometimes you know, you're wrong. You can hear the size in the background, but just catch it. it's good. I, I mean, use. I just it needs something to perk it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna eat it. I've had worse, that's for sure. The onion rings, homemade onion rings, are really good. Um, they're crispy. They're small little pieces, little ringlets. Which I Maybe like. They they're easier to us, eat. You think they gave us calamari instead and didn't tell me? <laughs> and now I'm going to be disgusted because I hate, I don't like seafood. I don't know. All in all, is it the best I've had? No. Is it the worst I've had? Absolutely not. If you're in Where's Valley. There's not really a whole lot of other options around here other than a gas station or a random food truck, so stop by. I don't think that I would drive here specifically to get either of these two things, but like we've learned in doing this a lot of times, especially down here, you're only one bad choice away from thinking that something's bad that's actually good. So we don't ever like to say that something sucks without giving it multiple tries and multiple different things to find out because you know every once in a while you can find one thing is okay and one thing is world class and it'll blow your socks off so if you're here give it a try all right we're going to take a look here at the receipt at the sloppy hog saloon sloppy hog burger joint we got uh, water a sloppy original with cheese for 14.75 the corona was only four dollars and the 10 inch barbecue chicken pizza was 16.95 so the amount is 40.55 the cash amount is 39.18 i guess if you're willing to carry cash everywhere you can save a little bit of money but i don't know that it's worth having to stress about it i don't know that there's any view that's better than this anywhere we've been where's valley is one of the most beautiful places in the world we just finished eating at Sloppy Hog. Sloppy Hog. Sloppy, Sloppy Hog. Yeah, we've been together for a while. Yeah, a little bit too long. I like the pizza quite a bit. It reminded me of the California Pizza Kitchen that I like to get a lot, so that kind of just hit the spot for me. Um, the nice, thin, crispy pizza crust. Burger wasn't my favorite out of the burgers we've had here in Gatlinburg, but that's yeah. okay. The onion rings were phenomenal, Very good. so yep. definitely get those if you come here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this place is good for where it is, for what it is. Um, it's not the best food we've ever had. It's not the worst food we've ever had. It's one of those things where if you're in Wears Valley, if you're headed to Townsend, if you're headed out to that end of the park, there's not a whole lot of options out here. If you're hungry, stop in and get food. I mean, you're, you're not gonna be disappointed. Yeah. We're not gonna sit here and tell you that it's the best food that we've, that we've had or that you need to make the trip out here or that you need to schedule your trip around this place. That's for sure, but... Um, it. I mean, it beats eating at a gas station or one of the 12 million uh, pancake houses around here, you know. You don't have to have pancakes yeah, for every exactly. meal. The, uh, the burger was a little on the dry side. I don't know if that's just a today thing or if that's a normal thing. The pizza was good, but kind of gave a little bit of frozen vibes. You know, all I'll say is, you know me being price-wise, 
the food felt a little expensive for what the quality felt mm -hmm. like it was today, right? It, it wasn't any more expensive than anything else around here. It just didn't feel like it was doing anything that most other places aren't. Now that said, there are some things that they say that are, you know, certain things that they're really good at. They make a sloppy joe here that's supposed to be good. They make some smoked wings that they say are really good. We just weren't in the mood for either of those things today, so we didn't get them. Yeah. Maybe those things are awesome. Maybe today's just a slow day and things were slow in the kitchen and you know we didn't get the best of what it was. We're not gonna say this place sucks or don't come nope, here or whatever. That's not we're us. just gonna say it wasn't try my favorite it. meal, but yeah. still come try it. Exactly. Because you might love it. And exactly. it really, like Brent said, there's nothing out here. So it is good, it's yeah. quick, you know, and they have kids options. So if you're traveling with family, it's a good place to come. They yep. have, you know, nice outdoor seating with a phenomenal view. So Yeah, that's for sure. You're not gonna get much of a better view than out no. here on the porch. So yep. Still give it a try. Give it a try. Deep says. Hey.